him and literally talk to the young people on the ground and get a feel of what's happening. But right now, Shiko Kihika and Nerima, or rather Nerima, let's begin with Nerima Wako, is joining us via Skype. Nerima Asante Sana, welcome to the show. Um, I know you are live and watching, or rather, from Kawangware. We've seen the scenario that has been happening this evening. Between the conversations with you and your friends, how do they feel about this specific election? What is the mood? even before that news broke up, people were not really sure whether it was fake news. So I'd have to say that social media has played a very important role, whether we trust our news, because there's a lot of information, people saying everything was, is okay, everything's not okay. But even from the house, you can hear fire trucks going back and forth. So you definitely know that there's something happening, but it took a while for it to be verified. So we can see a lot of people are cautious about the information that they're spreading, which I think is a good thing because people want to verify the information first before spreading it. All right, thank you, Nerima. Also here in studio with us are two gentlemen, Joasun Sando and Samuel Odor. Gentlemen, good evening. It's so good to have you here. Thank you so much for coming. And tonight we're going to be talking about the issue of peace, right? And we'll be joining also Shiko Kihika from our Nakuru Bureau. But first of all, very quickly, Torres, what are your thoughts on this issue of peace? And I know that you are a young man who is always on the ground talking to young people in, in Tani. What is the feel like, especially when you're talking to them during this week? How uh, specifically even today? Since it's hard because we are we as the youth, we are really suffering. Mm. We are twenty cabs. We are divided. Ntani like ile base watu kuka tu kubonga. I think and it's too very hard. But we are we are we are like telling each other that since we are in let us in in easy to divide to kai pamoja but unapata ni challenge ku kuka kuka with my own brother like the brother mwenye tumeka nae for long now say easy atweze kana nae pamoja and it's really hurting as young people because our fathers our great fathers so our uh, was the way to they are not showing they are not giving giving us showing us the right way to go right. they are dividing us as, as the youths of Kenya as the youth yeah, of Kenya yeah. Nerima, i know um, um you're joining us from Nakuru, uh, from Kawangware that rather via Skype what more can you tell us um, that you have seen on the ground that you've had uh, um, had about rather more specifically in Kawangware well, it's really, really worrying because I have to agree that there's a lot of division. A lot of people are saying um, there were some footage or images of young people and people are already labeling it like those are Kikuyu, those are whatever. And that's worrying because we're seeing ourselves dividing into clusters. And people who you've mentioned earlier have been friends or neighbors. And all of a sudden now you see each other as different from one another and no longer Kenyan. So you find that a lot of young people they want to keep that friendship. But at the same time, there's this mistrust because even I'll have to say for myself, even online, you're seeing people saying things and you're wondering where it's coming from because these who are, are your friends. So I'd say that there's this sort of animosity and almost a sense of we are not really talking about the real deep-seated issues that we face as a country. And some people are in denial where they are saying that there are no issues, we need to stop pretending that there are, there's nothing wrong with our country, let's move on. So I think we need to have honest con conversations as young people. Are not having um, honest conversations as young people? I, I, I don't think I, we are. Uh, I really don't think we are. And, and uh, ask yourself this, if you are a young person in Kenya and you want to become an opinion leader and a national figure, you either have to get arrested, you either have to be in a fight, you have to be arrested by the police, you have to be in a confrontation with the police, or fight your, even the, the, the most recent cases, case where you know one parliamentary, parliamentarian is fighting another one, and suddenly the next day they're national figures. So I, I subscribe to what uh, Torres was saying and what our guest from Nakuru was saying is that we do not have, as a youth, a voice that is uniting us. Right. Because for you to become a national youth voice, you come from a point of confrontation. Mm. So if you are parliamentarian X, who made headlines by fighting parliamentarian Y, mm -hmm. what moral authority do you have to stand on a podium and tell the youth to be united? Mm. So the reason we are not having a 
honest conversation is because we do not have a youth voice directing us towards an honest conversation. Okay, so could you back to that? And Likon Takaku is a solid more sensitive. Lazma to Bonge Do you well, think Kenyans who wish in a machungu and they only uh, show this? It's only shown as in uh, the only time in in onekana ni wakati wa election kwa sababu Torres mazejo tumekuwa tukika miaka 4 tumechoma nyama tumechill si udunga una news ya cladi vitu kama hizo so wewe unaje wa Kenya wanaishi na hii machungu inaonekana time ya election peke yake ama ni kitu tu hiyo ufanyika time ya election imemuuliza jawa shaba mimi mimi naweza sema mimi kivi yangu naweza sema na mimi ndo sema tu kweli ni ufala yenye tuko nayo sisi kama my youth men mm -hmm. na ni pia wale watu wanatutumia wanatutumia vibaya juu unapata hii machungu inakuja tu saa hizi kwa nini nikikukosea nisikuambie this time ati umenikosea na ngoja mpaka period fulani ndio sasa nikuje ni kuattack mm -hmm. i think we need to call a spoon a spoon kama vijana juu ukiangalia wale ma boys wan, watu wana watu wana madoa ni ma vijana mm -hmm. by the way ni ma youth men na mnasema kwamba mnataka viongozi wa kesho. Pia pia ningetaka kusema pia kubonga na ama karao pia wanapiga maboys. Mm -hmm. Pia wao ni maboys. How do you feel sasa zile umeshoot brother mtu pale hivyo? Unarudi home kujipiga kifua. Mm -hmm. But nasema sisi wa Kenya we need to come up as brothers. Mm -hmm. As real brothers. Angalia sasa hizi kuna watu wana suffer in slums. Mm -hmm. And sisi tunaendelea kupiga wengine in the same same slum. Mm -hmm. Sisi kama mandugu hapa kwa slum tuache hii uchungu tukae pamoja kama ma brother na tukuje pamoja i think there's something behind the, behind what is happening mm -hmm. so kuna machungu wenye wasio yeah, yeah, yes, lakini wezi ambiana wezi kutakuambiana mbona kwa debe una, unaona ni kama wanapatiwa chance kuambiana ukweli uh, <laughs> kwa debe kwa debe lakini mimi naweza sema hivi kwa debe pia iko poa watu waende wase wabonge kwa kwa debe mm -hmm. but unapata there's something yenye mimi sioni mm -hmm. Kwa nini watu wengine wa boycott na kwa nini watu wengine wafanye nini so Kenya we need the leaders unajua maybe we can mnaweza sema sisi vijana ni wabaya mm -hmm. but our fathers the leaders na mimi si semi mtu mwingine nasema mm -hmm. between the real, the two fathers right. of, of, mm -hmm. between our baba wetu wawili mm -hmm. eh, na mimi nasema tu ni uhuru na Raila please, please they just come up sisi kama vijana tunaumia watu 